It was a hell of a shock for me. Never thought that anything like a heart attack would ever happen to me. I woke up early uh, feeling a, a crushing sensation and pain down both my arms. It was a pain that came to a crescendo, if you like, you know, it was kind of getting tighter and tighter. You felt really quite helpless, there's nothing you can do about it, you can just worry about it getting worse and worse and it then becomes intolerable. It's frightening, it's very frightening. I was in A&E for, I think, almost a week and uh, I can remember thinking of my children and my wife and and they were keeping me going basically through this in order to uh, struggling for my life, I think, at the time. Clearly, I wanted to be around to see my children grow up and to enjoy my family. Every day, 200 people die from heart disease. I spend a lot of my time looking after patients who have had or who are having a heart attack and so I've seen the devastating impact it can have on people. But I've also got personal experience. My father had a heart attack when he was a young man and when I was just a kid. And I've seen what happened to him and you know how that affected us as a family. What causes a heart attack? Well, over time, deposits of cholesterol move into the wall of the arteries of the heart and a plaque develops. With time, the plaque gets bigger and eventually cells move into the plaque and make it inflamed. This process weakens the wall of the plaque and predisposes it to rupturing. And when that happens, a blood clot forms on the surface of the rupture. This can eventually block off the artery so that the muscle that is beyond that artery is starved of oxygen and blood and eventually dies. It's very exciting being involved in the research that I'm doing. It's the combination of 20 years of British Heart Foundation research looking at the mechanisms that lead to heart attacks. We can identify those high-risk patients. We can instigate treatments that can help prevent a heart attack from happening. We're moving into a very exciting phase of the research where we've found a way of looking at the heart arteries in very fine detail. We're using a novel technique called PET imaging to identify disease processes as they're occurring in the heart. We can pinpoint those uh, regions of the arteries that are high risk of rupturing and high risk of causing a heart attack. When one of these arteries becomes inflamed and at risk of rupture, the body identifies that and tries to heal it. Calcium comes in trying to wall off the angry inflamed area and protect the blood vessel from rupturing. We are able to identify those areas of new calcium using the PET scanner. We inject the patient with a substance that travels in the body to areas where calcification is occurring. The PET scanner can then tell us where that substance has accumulated in the body and identify those inflamed high-risk areas that are at risk of rupture and causing a heart attack. This is my life's work now. I'm funded by the British Heart Foundation to try and prevent heart attacks, to try and predict them. And that has a real resonance for me, given that my father had a heart attack, my grandfather had a heart attack, and so did my uncle. If we can come up with new strategies that can identify those patients that are at high risk of an event and we can really make a difference to a lot of people across the UK. Mm -hmm.